Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Live Games Wild, where today we're going to talk about strategies for escaping in Friday the 13th, and specifically how to escape in the boat. So that's what we're going to try to do here in this game. And I'll tell you why. You know, if you're playing alone, it's sometimes very difficult to organize getting the battery and the gasoline and the keys all together and getting them into the right vehicle. Because if you're playing alone, you don't... Oh, hold on a sec. Okay, all right, hold on. Um, let me dodge this guy here. If you're playing alone, let me get out of here. If you're playing alone, it is difficult to do that, especially if people don't have headsets and that sort of thing. So, and also playing uh, alone, it's difficult to even uh, do the uh, calling the police because you have to find the location, you have to find the fuse, and then wait for. Hold on, let me let me dodge him here. Oh, oh my God! Okay, get out, get out. <laughs> okay, um, so anyways, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, so trying to, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. He's putting down a trap. Let's just get out of here. Okay, so again, so you may find it actually more um, easier to actually, let's go in here and hide. Let's hide behind this chair here. This seems legit. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the gasoline right there. Okay, great. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that gas. But um, anyways, you may find it easier to actually just go for the boat because not very many people think to go for the boat, and it's fairly easy to escape. Jason's focused on the car. Let's go in here and hide under this, underneath this bed to uh, to avoid him and get our keep our fear level low. So again, it may be easier to just take the boat. Jason's focused on the car and on the phone fuse. So getting in the boat sometimes easier. Let's take a look at the map here before we leave. Okay, and try to get our bearings and figure out where the boat is. And let's go ahead and head over to the boat. Now, when I took a look at the map there for a second, I noticed that the boat propeller has actually already been found. And there it is right there. Someone has actually either thrown it on the ground or maybe been killed with it in their hand. So instead of dropping the gasoline here to go for that boat motor, even though the boat is our strategy, we want to hold on to the gasoline because if I drop it down, someone is going to pick up this gasoline and take it over to the car. So the, my strategy is, when I'm playing alone is to find the gasoline and make my way uh, quietly, slowly, and keeping my fear level low over towards the boat. So that's what we're going to do right here. Again, it's important to keep your fear level low because Jason can use his sensibility and find you and then will completely spoil your plan. But as long as you stay under the radar, quietly and uh, slowly moving towards the boat, giving uh, the other counselors time to... All you need is one person to find that boat propeller and they will head over to the boat and kind of do the work for you. So this is my strategy for quickly escaping. You don't have to wait for the police. You don't have to... Uh, organize getting the car ready or any of that sort of stuff so as you can see I'm standing underneath the light that's so I can keep my fear level low I've noticed that she's actually in fear level 2 which is close to hitting fear level 3 in which case I'll be able to be spotted by Jason okay it looks like we've got somebody coming hopefully let's see if they have anything in their hand all right okay so it looks like he has the boat propeller this plan is working out nicely like it tends to work out so I, my character is not good, so I'm actually going to go ahead and throw the gasoline down because she's not good at setting parts. And then I'm just going to go right back underneath the light and continue to manage my fear level. Try to reduce that fear level and keep it below level 3. So he can easily put this in. I'm going to go ahead and steal the, uh, the captain's seat here. Let's go ahead and steal the seat. There we go. So you do want to take a quick look at your map before you leave when you're starting up the boat just to kind of get your bearings of where you're at and where the exit is because while the boat is moving you're not able to check your map and a lot of times people get in the boat and won't know where the exits are and that you don't want to spoil your plans that way so that's how it's done folks don't worry about the if you're playing alone don't worry about the car don't worry about the phone fuse find the gasoline if it's at all possible and make your way calmly and slowly over to the boat and as you can see you're home free and you've now escaped so this is how you do it folks it's really easy it's really it's very simple to escape using what huh. hold on hold on retake 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 hold on retake whoa, whoa hold on we're, we're good we're still good we're still good baby 
All right, we're good. All right, we don't want to go in this house because he'll spot us. Let's go over to a hiding spot here. I'm sure he won't be able to find us. A, a good little spot right here, like this tent. Perfect place right here. <gasps> Hold on. Hold on. What? Retake. Okay. Drop a like on the video. Drop me a comment. Check out another video on the channel. And we'll catch you next time right here at Live Games Wild. Thanks a lot, guys.